Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spare message for Saturn Scorpio. Alright, as we move more into your season here. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Whenever your birthday is, I don't really care, but happy birthday. <laughs> Alright, uh, keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we also have a website, alright, Scorpio, where there's Scorpio shirts. Alright, there's also a sale going on. You should definitely go check that out. And if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so, okay? So, you're reading. You're reading. On the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for your current situation, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, Scorpio. Now, we're going to get into that in a minute because there's more to this Eight of Cups than, you know. Let me show you the other cards first so you can fully understand. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Fool here. We have the Two of Cups. Four of Cups, Six of Swords, Scorpio. Look at this. Love. Love is what's coming into your life relationship. And it feels like someone that you've... Um, that you've walked away from before. You try to move on from, but there's like a resurfacing of it, Scorpio. And I see you kind of just jumping into it now. This is all part of your own free will. But this is just what I see for you here, Scorpio. Alright, I see there being changes, okay? I see, you know, I see you having a lot of fun with this person, not really being bored or stagnant. You understand? The person brings a lot of change into your life. I feel like you, you miss them. That's why you're jumping into it. Looking at the Eight of Cups, you realize that the Eight of Cups look like it's a very emotional Eight of Cups. This isn't just, oh, look at this. Nine of Cups, the Chariot. Some of you could be traveling with this person, and there's travels involved. You know, this is like a very fun, spontaneous person. The Fool, the Chariot. Okay. It feels like you've been wishing for this. Now. On the bottom of the deck, what's coming towards you, we have the King of Wands. And that is fire. So it feels like a fire sign that you may be connecting to here. Someone with a lot of fire placements. But Scorpio, it feels like you're just taking the initiative towards this person, okay? King of Wands. A lot of Scorpios will also pop up as fire here. So I see that as yourself here as well, as well as this person, you understand? Scorpio can be quite uh, fiery and passionate, even though it's a water sign. We have the Ten of Wands, okay? We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups, which is water, which is your own card, whether you're male or female, it does not matter. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, Scorpio, all right? So basically, things that you've been wishing for in your life, things that you've been asking for here, that's coming into your life, all right? I see you, like, what you've been working towards here, whether it be school, work, whatever, right? That's all coming into your life, okay? Like, money-wise, I see you not really struggling anymore. You're going to get to a point of more financial stability, especially if you've asked that. Like, like I want you to... If you have not asked that, ask that. Like, ask that out loud, Scorpio. Ask your desires out loud, all right? To God, angels, whatever you, you believe in, all right? And it will come. Okay, but I definitely do see love <laughs> with this fire sign or some of fire placements, all right? And it has you in this, this feeling of, like, bliss, of, like, pure joy. All right? Because it feels like they have very, like, I don't know, they're just fun. Alright. Messages and all that sort of stuff for you. We have number 26, the beautiful place. So, Scorpio, what this talks about is your dreams, your desires. That's not just imagination. That's a part of your destiny here. Alright. We have animals. Something about animals. Number 22, with home. I've been seeing the number 22 a lot. That's an important number here. We have number 34. Door to personal healing and happiness. See, look at that. There's that happiness. There's that door to be happy. It's open. And number 21, the enchanter dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. Angels that are currently with you. Number 38 with Sophia. This is the angel of unconditional love, Scorpio. Huh? We have number one with Serial. 
dark night of the soul. That's where this angel is. Okay. So, yeah. Overall, in your dreams, your wishes coming true. And I feel like there's a sense of home with this person, all right, where you feel very comfortable, all right, you feel very happy, and this person now, like, you know, will love you unconditionally. Are you ready for that, Scorpio? Hmm? Yeah, it's been coming up in your readings a lot. Love. So, last card for you, we have number nine with eight immortals. Okay. Oops. Messages you have been receiving that are unconditionally loving, fearless and encouraging of you to grow and be your true self are from your higher guidance. The eight immortals and other beings of divine light and divine love are guiding you. It is safe for you to follow these messages now. Doing so will bring greater joy. Okay, Scorpio, you are receiving intuitive messages. All right, follow those messages. All right, this is from your higher guidance. This is from God. You know, this is from all that. Follow these messages. Okay? Go where you're being led to go. So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. Yeah, if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.